Good evening everybody, happy, happy Monday to you and welcome once again to the AWL. We have the international tournament today, we've got a couple of fantastic games for you and I hope they're going to be really, really, really interesting. Uh, we have got first game is Hype versus Family Orlandos. Now I don't know much about the Russian team, this is an EU team versus a Russian team. Uh, I did ask for information about the Russian team and how they got in the first round game, but alas, I didn't get the information back. Good evening once again, and welcome to Armoured Warfare. Hopefully we're going to have some fantastic stuff going on today. We do have the tournament rules are on the Armoured Warfare portal. Um, with the four maps that are available to choose from. It's a best of seven games today, and hopefully we're going to see some fun. Now, some differences over the Spring Cup that took place for the EU server early in the month is this: is these games are all going to be on encounter mode. Uh, going to be on encounter mode, so hopefully things will work out very, very well. Okay, guys. Let's yeah, see. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Had a little technical glitch. I hope you guys are all okay. Right, so we've got Hype versus Family Orlandos. And uh, Hype are our team two, and Family are our team one. So uh, it's been a few weeks since I've done this, a little bit rusty. Please remember, there is a 10-minute stream delay. And if you look in the video description below, there is a competition to win some um, tank codes. Um, that will be drawn on Friday. Um, you can enter it down below. Uh, details are there. Now, these codes work on the EU server guaranteed. Uh, Pelegra has told me they may work on the NA server, but no guarantees there. They are definitely uh, EU codes. So as you can see, our teams are starting to pick the first of the tanks. We're pretty much going to see what we saw last week. We're going to see TATUs, we're going to see Challenger 1s, we're going to see VBLs, and we're going to see some Sabra Mark 2s. Definitely the vehicles of choice for this tournament. And hopefully we're going to have some real good fun a little bit later on. Okay, so if anyone has any questions, I'll try to answer them between games. Um, let me just do that as I can, but no pro no guarantees that I'll get to them as quickly as I possibly would like to because of that 10 minute stream today. But once again, good evening. Hello, everyone that knows me. Now, please, guys, uh, try and do it in English. I don't speak Russian. Uh, there are a variety of other streamers. Now, we have Andy J in the chat today. He is going to be streaming a couple of games tomorrow. So uh, hopefully uh, you guys can go and check them out. All the details of the links for any streamer. There's some Polish streamers, some English streamers, and I believe some Russian streamers. A lot of those details are on the AW portal. So please go check those out. I'll be streaming here today two games, and I'll be streaming two games on Wednesday. Andy Dre in English is going to be streaming games tomorrow, and he's going to be streaming games on Thursday. Now, I do believe I have Pelegro, one of the community managers, joining me on uh, Wednesday for my games, but we'll see where it goes. It looks like our... Oh, the Russian friends are almost ready. They have got most of their tanks selected. No real surprises going on. As I said, you know, it's going to be interesting to see how they really take place. Now, we saw in the first round of the Spring Cup with EU teams, um, I think it was Sorry that used a warrior. Um, the Russian team here have got a warrior themselves. Uh, but no VBL, so it's going to be interesting. He's raging, going to keep and select that VBL. He's the last one to actually choose. Now he's gone for a TATU. And Zoo has gone for the VBL, guys. Hopefully you guys can hear me. You're going to see the commentary and all this information coming up very, very soon. Okay, guys. Looks like we're almost ready for a game on situation. We're almost ready. It's a 10 minute battle. It's on encounter and it looks like our first map is the Narrows map. So hopefully we should see lots and lots of action. I'm hoping we're going to get to, to see something that's not very campy. Something where they can use vision and they can make aggressive MBT plays because there is a lot of MBTs in this game. And hopefully we can see some fun games. It looks like we're all getting ready and the match is in progress. And here we go. Game one is on. We're loading in. 
Now, for those of you asking in chat, we are on a special RU tournament server. Um, so there is basically just the eight teams and all the streamers and the YouTubers that are actually have accounts on here. And here we go. First game, it's Narrows. And let's see what we're going to happen. Hype. Our team two, they're our red team, and family are going to be our team one, our blue team. And look at that. Thank you, Noir has got the Russian language going there. Isn't she a gem? <coughs> Isn't she a gem? Everyone needs a Noir in their streams. Okay, guys. Hopefully, we're not going to get any serious crashes. We have a, a rainy match, first and foremost. And what do we got here? So, yes, this is going to make it fun, isn't it? A bit of rain. How's that going to affect the visibility? How are people going to do it? So, here we are on Russian server. It's 66 milliseconds of ping. Uh, from what I understand, a lot of the EU guys are going to be playing with anywhere between 50 and 100 milliseconds of ping. So, the, the RU guys do have a very, and I say very, distinct advantage, especially when it comes to the fast-moving vehicles. But hopefully, hopefully, um, everything is going to be all okay. Now, in this map in the Spring Cup, we did see a lot of um, a lot of vehicles uh, coming up to this area and on this area here. But this is an encounter map, so the cap circle is in the middle. We're going to have to see now what the techniques that the teams are going to use. So we're going to stick with um, with hype for our first first few minutes of gameplay, just to see where the hype guys go. And it looks like they're pushing down into the middle. But look, aggressive moves from family. We could get action very very soon. Our VBLs are just going into position. Spots, missiles are firing, smoke is popped. A little bit of damage taken there from Zoo. First blood to our Russian friends. And as we can see, Hype are in a position where they're not committing to any serious flank. We did see in the first round, lots of, of, of fighting going down here. As you can see, some family uh, Sabras are, are parked on here to cover it, but most of Hype are actually heading over towards the 0, 1, 2, 3 line. So let's go and take a look at family and see how they're doing. We'll keep an eye on the mini-map. And there we go, we've got, um, we've got three MBTs of Sabra, and they're taking, they're taking random shots. So they're taking blind shots, using the fact they haven't got any spotters over here. Now look at this. Look at this, all the family are heading over to this side. So again, we're getting a lot of manoeuvre uh, initially, uh, as both teams try and suss out where they are going. And we're going to go over to Hype just a second. Zoo in his VBL is pulled over to the back, and he's retreated back. Now, I wasn't expecting Hype here to be as cautious, but I, I suppose they're playing against new opponents. I don't think they've played any games against these guys, so they're going to have little knowledge about what they do, apart from checking out the replays of the uh, Russian commentators' tournaments from earlier in the month. So again, very, very slow start. Lots of shop, shots coming in from family here, lots of blind shots. Now, is the fact that their warrior is he's fairly at the back, and he's looking like the warrior is heading back to spot the cap circle. So they used MBT to spot as they used shots, um, blind shots over there, just to see and move up here. But the warrior from family is staying at the back, and he's just covering this area here. He's going to have some fairly decent view range, just a spot over here. But remember, the cap circle is in the center of the map. Who is going to blink first, and who are we going to get some gameplay action first? Where are we going to get the serious combat go? And look at this family are now pushing down, being very aggressive, not straying too far away from this road. So if necessary, if hype go into the centre of the cap circle, uh, they can react and shoot down there. But they are definitely pushing up. Let's go take a look at what the hype guys are doing. You can see from the mini map they're being very very cautious. They are moving over slowly, and we're seeing a lot of rotational play here. We're seeing teams moving and vehicles moving from one side of the map. It's almost a reverse from the initial spawn points. Um, definitely a, a lot more tactical. Now, there are some good prizes on offer for the winners of this tournament. And there's going to be games today, tomorrow, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, this week, and again the same next week. So we're going to see a lot of decent action. Remember, this is the best out of seven games. So again, Hype have pulled all the way down into the south. They've left uh, Zoo over in the VBL just to cover that side. And uh, look at this. You know, Family have, have scouted down here as a group, using their MBTs as a force together. They've been taking blind shots into positions where enemy teams could hole up. 
And now, the warrior over there, it's, um, and I'm going to brutally murder, I'm sorry, these Russian names, uh, Zavesky. He's in his warrior. He's staying up in the BA area, although he's now moving back down here. And then suddenly, we get more maneuvers as the family guys... That, that came out wrong, didn't it? Yeah, we'll just call them family. As family are here, now, stopping on this side of the map, not being too particular. We've got 5 minutes and 55 seconds to go. Um, it's important that a team gets an early win in this situation. Oh, okay, shots have been fired there. Buildings were knocked down, and there we go. The shots are coming in. Okay, so it's long-range sniping and shooting at the moment. You can see um, the hype guys here are all very, very defensive. It's maybe not the sort of aggressive play I was hoping for, but I don't think anyone wants to lose the first, first game, the first match. Okay, let's see what's going on. And once again, welcome everybody. Um, you always, when you're looking at players from different regions, about how they work as a team. I've played lots of games on the RU server, and it is a slightly different mentality to what you see on the EU and on the NA. But this is totally different to what I was expecting. And Zoo now is taking his VBL. Again, he's swinging around the back. He's swinging up the two line. While the hype guys, again, look at this. They're pushing onto this back line here. And look, family have obviously got some, some decent vision because they're reacting. They're bringing down here. And it's, it's looking like they want to try and... Either team wants to funnel them through this, this very, very small gap here. Now, we saw it in the Spring Cup games earlier this month that people can funnel vehicles through there. It's not the smoothest terrain for MBTs, but people can go there. But it's all, at the moment, punch, counter-punch, a little bit of fade, a little bit of hiding, uh, a few shots being fired, and you can see Massive here is taking his challenger one, Fionn, and he's taking him up into a position here. Now, this is going to get the first tank action. There we go, damage has been done, and look at this at the moment. Hype definitely, definitely on top in this little engagement. Um... As you can see, uh, engagements are going over here. T-80 Sharp is fighting against, again, a, a lone Challenger 1. Fionn is coming through first. There's T-80 Sharps and Subras coming in as well. And shots have been fired out. Um, Hype have taken. Asiok here has taken a lot of damage. He needs to pull back, get into some cover. He's taken a significant amount of damage. And look at this. The Hype guys are here. There's two MBTs here. Now they're reacting. They're going to come around and support their fellow teammates here. But I think the family have got the distinct hit point advantage at the moment. Let's just take a look. Zoo is there in his VBL. Um, Zavesky in his Milan is coming in. I'm kind of torn over seeing this uh, slug press from MBTs, or maybe we're going to see some dueling between the VBL and the Milan. Now, the Warrior Milan. Now, the Warrior Milan, of course, has got an advantage. He's got his 80 GMs, and it's got its auto cannon as well. Whereas the VBL has only got those uh, anti tank gunning missiles. And here we go. The action's coming on. Family are pushing in onto hype. You got uh, Freezy in his T-80U Shark, Nameless coming down in his Sabra, and now they're trying to really split them up. Um, it's interesting. Oh, look, and Hype have taken definitely the lead on hit points. They're doing fantastic. And the first cap goes in. VBL going against um, Warrior, and they've pulled out of the cap as the MBTs are slugging it out here. And here we've got Raging Ishmael. He's down to 1436 hit points. And you can see that, um, good God, these names, APMA, um, he is on 760 hit points. And again, they're trying to answer it. Um, Raging Ishmael is on 28 hit points. He's going to go down very, very quickly unless he's watching. It, it's, it's quite close. There's a lot of damage that's been spread out amongst the hype guys. And here we go. We're going to get the first kills coming in on the game. Armor's working fairly well at the moment. Is it going to be AP Matter that takes the is the first one to die? Is it going to be Ishmael? Missiles are flying out now. Let's just take a look over there. And the T-80U from Hype from Raging Ishmael is down. 28 hit points. He's gone down. Uh, Hype T-80 uh, Zabino in his T-80U Shagish shooting from range. But Family have the advantage. And again... They are just being drawn by the cap circle, but damage has been done. It's a real MBT slugfest here. Frontal armor versus frontal armor. TATU Shark from FRL is on 182 hit points. Uh, it's a um, still advantage family at the moment. Hype need to take a gun out of the game. Are they going to do it? There's a lot of family's tanks that are on low hit points now. Hype are using cover very, very well, and they're, they're controlling this little engagement now. They were tanked down, but I think they're up definitely on hit points. It's all going to be down to maybe the VB on the Warrior. And uh, Dad, Hype lose a second tank. 
Wow, Ashio um, Ashiok has gone down, but the family guys, they are such low hit points. Can Hype actually secure some of these kills? Or a family in a really good position now. They, they are in a great position. They are superbly hold down. Green smoke there. And it is, it's, it's a, can massive do anything? Okay, the family are all pushing now together. And it's going to be shots fired. And it's who's going to go down first. And family, one of their family have lost one of their tanks. It's now 6-5. It's now 6-4. Family have got the advantage of guns. But Hype, I think, still have just the advantage in hit points. Can they take down some of these low health vehicles? I don't think they can. And there we go. We've got 3-4 now. 3-4. Hype have really turned this around. They've taken advantage of those low hit points and really done some damage here. 2-4. It's there. Hype, they, they could have this. They could have this nicely sewn up. 2-4. Okay, got from Poland, uh, from Hype, he's on 12 hit points, he's going against another challenger one, inside tank, he's on 740, it's so even here, it's whoever goes down first, inside tank there, and now we get the backup, the Sabino is coming in, the backup, is he going to take down, um, is it Pavel there, he's going to take down Pavel, he's going around for the rear. Is he going to get shots in? Is he going to give God from Poland? And there we go. One versus four. Hype have secured it. What a first interesting game. Well done to Hype. Absolutely fantastic and amazing. Really, really good there. Oh, what a game. I, I actually enjoyed that one. Let's see if we can update the score there. And there we go. Hype take a one game to zero lead. Let's take a look at the post-game results and see the scores on the doors. Let's just move that over. We're going to get ready. Uh, just move that to there. We'll see if there's any changes there. But look at this. Hype. Uh, got from Poland, 2,500. Um, Asiok, 5,742. And apologies for brutalizing your name. Some fantastic damage there. Um, massive RU, 4,356. Let's look at the family guys. Well, they've got uh, 2,788 from Master Windy. Uh, Nameless Pawn, 2,000. Um, Raging Ishmael, low damage, 704. But I think he performed a key thing at the beginning. Uh, and again, awesome, awesome first game. First blood to hype. Well done. Looks like we have switched around. We're going to play this map again from reverse positions. And let's see if we're going to get that sort of dynamic movement around the map in the next game. So just take a little drink to wet the whistle. Remember guys, the competition is below. Uh, you can enter to win some uh, a BMPT Terminator, a Foxed tank pack, and a Mercenary tank pack. Please make sure tomorrow you are checking out Andy J on his Twitch channel. Uh, he's going to be streaming two games tomorrow, and hopefully he's going to have as much fun as I have had so far in this first game. Well done to Hype. Let's see if Family Orlandus can actually come back and get game number two sewn up. Tank choices are being done. Looks like... Um, Family, I've selected, I think, pretty much the same setup. And it looks like hype again. It's looking like the same setup. Yeah, it looks like the same setup there. So, you guys, you're going to have to tell me what you think. I'll try and get comments once you see the game going. Uh, but I, I really enjoyed that. That was a lot of fun to see. Tanks have been selected now for game two on Narrows. We're going to have to see now where we're going to go. But, guys, fantastic. What, what evening fun. What a load of fun. And there you go, Andy J. I see him there in chat. Uh, make sure you go check out his Twitch channel uh, for tomorrow's events. And he's going to have hopefully two fantastic games. And here we go. Game two is on the run. Let's see if we're going to see some exciting movement and maneuver taking these large MBTs as well as some light scout vehicles uh, through and around. So here we go now. Hype our blue team. Family Orlandis are our red team. And let's see if we can have some fun, guys. Game two, matches on. It's advantage hype. Let's see if our Russian friends can come back and give us some fantastic action. So what we're going to do, we are going to head over and we're going to stick with Family Orlandis for the start of this game just to see how they position. So they're in the same sort of positions as, as starting the hype room for the first game. Uh, the map has been rotated around. Are they going to do the same thing or are they going to try something different? This is going to be the most interesting aspect because we on the EU server and the NA server don't tend to see a lot of what the Russians are doing. And it's, it's definitely good to see different tactics 
Um, I would have preferred to see some different vehicles, but these vehicles currently seem to be the best at Tier 7 for this sort of tournament engagement. And has the encounter aspect of this map really made this better? I guess we're only going to see once these first games are done and dusted and we're out of the way. Okay, so what do we got? So it looks like Family Orlandis are heading all over to the 0-1-2 line. Yeah, it looks like it's a fair situation there. Again, rotating around the map. They're doing it a little bit earlier than Hype did in first game. And what are Hype doing? Hype again. Um, they have put a couple of MBTs up here. Let's just have a quick look and just see if Hype do any blind shots like Family did in the first match. Um, Family were, were taking lots of, of, of shots all the way along this section here, just taking out positions or shooting the positions where potentially enemy vehicles could actually go. And yes, there you go. I are using, uh, using armor-piercing, fin-stabilizing, discarding Sabo rounds as spotting mechanics, uh, just like Family did in the first game and getting shots over here. Let's just get back over with Family and look at that. I think... I think Hype know that family are coming. I think there were some spots there. Zoomass was over on the, with the VBL over here. And now you can see all the family over here having a bit of fun. Ooh. Da, da, da. I see one of there. How are you doing, mate? Good to see. I am glancing over at chat when I can, but I can't always catch up. But good to see everyone here today. I hope everyone is having fun. Okay, let's see... And as you can see, um, family are moving in now down this one, two side. Okay. Okay, with a little graphics glitch there. Okay, so look at this. Family are aggressively pushing down this side. And look, hype, are they reacting? Uh, this could be interesting. Family have got a distinct tank advantage here at the moment. Although you've got some hype vehicles shooting from the high ground over here. Uh, but every member of the family team are here. But their Sabra has taken a significant amount of damage. He's lost over a thousand hit points there. And again, in this corner, using the terrain they've got here. But again, Hyper retreated out. They're in no rush. They've got the advantage after winning the first game. It's down to family to take the battle to Hype, it seems. Are they going to do that? They're pushing down on this side here. There's a little bit of cover. There's a little bit of a lip. And just there, it's where they can make take advantage of it. Okay, so um, the Stamage Sabra is kind of holding back. Um, Zaveski in his Warrior Milan is now heading back over this side. And as you can see, uh, Family are pushing along this section here. And Hype, they've left um, uh, Zumask. Zumask? Well, just call him Zoo. Uh, they've left Zoo, Zoo here. Spotting on this hill. So what are they going to do? What are family going to do? Are they going to head down and, 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 and really push down here? Or are they going to be aggressive across this section? I've got a feeling they're actually... They're stopping there. But I've got a feeling they're actually going to send someone up here. And uh, Is that going to funnel them into the, the front of Hype's guns? Uh, they're holding here. And Zoo is having to hold that position there. And here we go. Family are now peeking over. A challenger. Challenger 1 wolf there from Pavel. He's just kind of poking over there. And there we go. Let's see. And there they go. They are they are pushing up. They're pushing a couple of tanks. They've got five MBTs pushing up now to engage along the 8-9 line. So really, are they going to push? No, they're not. They're stopping. They're thinking that this is this is really dangerous. If they, if they had, if Hype were in this position here and they could shoot them funding through, this could be quite nasty. Um, but as you can see, Zvesky is now pushing up to the middle. Um, and you can see Zoo is moving towards the cap circle. Is he going to try and put pressure on the cap circle? They, they know where they are. He's skirting around it. No, he's not. He's just holding here. He's going to get into a position where he can uh, get some vision to see if they're going to come this way. But you can see family are heading down into this corner. Uh, our hype lined up. Hyper lined up. Shots are firing in. The MBTs are there. And look, smoke is popped by family. They're trying to get into positions on this area here. And really, the fighting is taking place in, in, in quite interesting areas of the map there. As you can see, they've taken a little bit of damage, but not too much. The Sabra Mark II is down to 1846 hit points from family. And here we go. Look at this. Two Challenger 1s are pushing up. Trying to get into this position, maybe you get into a hold down position here. The hype guys are over here. They've got some vehicles here that are in good positions. 
Shots can be firing across. Hyper pushing back. Shots going. Smoke is popped out. And the engagement has begun once again. And it's interesting where we're fighting. Let's just have a quick look behind us. You can see the Sapra there. And you can see Zoo Zvetsky in his warrior. Okay. The, the damage Sabra Mark II is coming up to do a flanking run. This could be quite dangerous. You've got Zoo and his VBL there. You've got a TATU Shark, a Sabra, two Sabra Mark IIs, and he's going to have to hold it here. Looks like the TATU Shark is going to come down and engage the damaged uh, Sabra Mark II. There's the Warrior Milan there. Missiles are going to go flying in. Okay, Zai is going in, and there's 1,040, 1,142 hit points. Smoke is pop. Oh, look, Hype have lost Raging Ishmael again. Some aggressive play, and look at this. Family are pushing as a group. They've split the hype players up. We've got two hype players here uh, versus five MBTs. Um, they need to take this Sabra down. And look at it. They're pushing on the solos. Sabra here. He's on 40, 38 hit points. He's going to go down. And that should even the score. But um, God from Poland there is on 13, 98. And it's Challenger 1. And there we go. We are on a 6 versus 6 game. But look at Family pushing aggressively. Um, Massive is going to go take some serious damage. They're going to flank him. Pushing on him. God from Poland is going to go down as well. 738 hit points. Oh, look at that. It's a 6-5. But this could lose two MBTs. We've got five MBTs. And there we go. God from Poland is down. And it's now massive. Can he hold on? We've got a challenge one wolf getting behind him. Shots are going to come in from the rear. Oh, this is just it. And what are that? What are, what are hype going to do? It's five versus five at the moment. But family are going to take advantage. They're going to take down massive. Take him down. They've got the advantage now. And look at this. They have haven't taken a, a, a lot of damage there. That was a really good push. A really impressive play from the Russian Sabra Mark II player who drew them out. He had warrior support. But he drew hype into taking him on. Three vehicles went down onto a three-on-two situation. And in the end, it's cost hype because they are a tank down. It's 4-5. And now let's see what um, what family can do. They're pushing two tanks around. Going to get side shots on these Sabras. We've got, we need to take, they need to take down some of these low health vehicles. They're having to pull back. Okay, where is Zoo in his VBL? Is he getting some shots in? He's trying to go, he's engaging um, the Sabra Mark II from Nameless at the back there. So it's a four on three situation MBTs. Nameless in his Sabra Mark II is going after Zoo in his VBL. But that could just give him a chance to get in. And more damage is flying in. And family have definitely got the advantage. You've got Zabino is going to be the sacrificial lamb here. The others have pulled back. Can they take out their ma Master Windy? He's on 432 hit points. They're going to try and focus him down. Smoke his pop. No, it's 3-5 to family. They've got the advantage here. It's 3-4. Wow, the battle is going on. And as you can see, this Sabra Mark II came round the back. He's going to go and engage inside tank from the rear. Inside down to 962. And you've got Zoo, who's soon going to be very much alone on full health against for opposing vehicles and they have got rather a lot of hit points for this matter and that is definitely some really good controlled play from family they pushed an advantage they're going for the cap they're not going to go chasing the vbl down it's down to zoo to get some interrupts and what he needs to do he needs to actually get into a position where he can hold he needs one interrupt to try and draw this into a draw is he going to do it you can see that um uh, FRT is staying right at the back. He's getting to cover. He's on 299 hit points. 65 seconds on the cap. It's 1 minute 20 for the game. What's Zoo going to do? How is he going to do this? Let's just go take a look over here. He's running. Is he going to try and get a position to get 180 gem in? What's going to be his target? He just needs to do damage. I don't know if he's going to be able to manage it. Um, family need to get this cap win. And Zoo's going in now. Let's kind of see. And look at this. Uh, FR is going around trying to flank him, and Zoo is getting out of there. Doesn't look like we're going to get any sort of interrupt at the moment. It's 38 seconds to go. Where can he take this VBL? Can he take this VBL in his position to get behind? Is he going to be able to get here? Could he get to this position, and could he get a missile into the back? 27 seconds. Zoo, this is down to you to secure a draw here and prevent family from getting a win. Is he going to get in there? He is trying to race around 19 seconds. This is going to be really close to see whether he can actually get a couple of missiles down onto these guys and interrupt the cap circle. I'm kind of looking at what's going to Smoke is being popped out there. And here we go. Seven seconds. Missile fires out. No interrupts. Second missile going. Two seconds. One second. He's got an interrupt in. 
Well done, he got the interrupt in soon. Nicer. Second missile got the interrupt in. We got 23 seconds on the cap. 11 seconds. This is going to be a draw. Zoo just needs to get the hell out of Dodge and he's going to stop from family from winning this. And what an outstanding play from Zoo. The shots are firing in Randy from family. And there it is. Game is a draw. Fantastic. Whoa. That is really, really interesting. I don't know if that's going to count as a, a zero for each of them. Yes, I guess it is. We're going to leave it as hype. Still lead this 1-0. What an interesting match. Family did all the right things. They did some great flanking maneuvers. They did a great MBT push uh, against Superior Oz. Um, that was absolutely fantastic. What a game. Thoroughly enjoyed that one. Slightly better, I thought, than the first game. Although hype dominated that first game. The second game was all about the manoeuvre and the fantastic save um, from Zoo. What a decent, decent play there to get that second missile in. Let's take a look at the post-game stats. And as you can see, uh, Asiop 5000 did well. Um, but look at these guys uh, from family. 4,400 for Master Windy. Nameless did 3,800. Um, good work there. But let's give it Zoo. I think he saved... This game, he stopped Family getting a win. So well played, Zoom. Definitely my player of this game. And uh, a master project there, 5,270 damage from Family. Fantastic second game. Okay, so it looks like we're setting up for game three. We're going on to Lost Island. And I can see Strong Animal in chat. Good evening, Strong Animal. Ta -da. Let's check up on chat. Okay, so definitely, definitely easy fun. And again, welcome everybody. Fantastic to see you guys here. I hope you're enjoying this. I certainly am. And we're getting ready for game three. Tank selection is going. I don't think we're going to see too many changes. Uh, these Challenger ones, the Sabras, the CATUs, uh, and the VB on the Warriors are definitely the vehicles of choice in this whole Tier 7 tournament. And let's see how we're getting on. Uh, and I'm just checking chat, and is Noir doing a decent job? I think she is. Um, I see a thanks, Noir, there. Okay, there's the, there's the rules and the tournaments. Right, I don't know how the hype guys are coping with the slightly higher uh, ping that they're getting get on this server, but I am enjoying this game. Looks like we're selecting up the tanks for game three. Okay, uh, let's just go back to New. No, no, don't want to leave the lobby. Don't want to leave the lobby, do we? No, there we go. Okay, we're all ready. Just waiting for these guys to actually sting up and get the second, uh, sorry, the third game going. Hype still lead this one to zero. Or oh, I'm going to take a quick second, refresh my drink. I'll be right back, guys. Right, and here we are back. I've had a little bit of a drink. Noir's cleared her throat, and we're getting ready for game number three. Hopefully the video and the audio quality is all okay. Hopefully you can hear me well and understand my crazy British accent. Lovely to see so many people here. I have no idea how many people are actually watching right now. We've got 88 people watching right now. That's awesome. Hopefully you guys are going to enjoy some fantastic gameplay. I certainly am. Anyway, let's just pause that one there. And let's just check that the stream is all okay. Yes, there we go. All okay. So, again, 10-minute stream delay. There is a competition below. And go check it out. And you get a chance to win a few tanks that are usable on on both the or on the EU server and they may well be available on the NA server they may work okay we've got 29 entries into the giveaway now the draw for the giveaway will be done on Friday this competition is going to be open for the next four days so that people have a chance on my Wednesday stream to do it and during Andy's streams on Twitch on Thursday to still enter into this competition Okay, I can see there's some serious, serious, serious um, conversation going on in chat. 
Uh, yeah, it's hard really to know exactly what the winning team tanks and commander specs are. Uh, maybe you guys can actually contact some of these guys after the tournament and, you know, get some feedback. It may help you if you're intending on putting in uh, uh, teams into any future games. Okay, so after this one, we've got... Um, Plague team versus, sorry, that should be another interesting match, and that'll be it for today. But we still got matches to go here. Looks like Lost Island Encounter. Looks like we're all ready. It's exactly the same sort of lineup. Sabras, Warriors, Challenger ones. Although it looks like that um, a family are running three Sabra Mark Twos, three Challengers, and a Warrior. Uh, Hype are running a, a Stingray Two. Zabino selected a Stingray Two, and here we go. Game three is in progress. Hype lead this whole match. One to zero at the moment. First game was a win for Hype. Second game was a draw. Let's see where game three goes. And we can see how much fun we're going to have. Once again, everybody, welcome. I hope you're having an enjoyable evening. Let's see where they go. And it's Hype, who are our blue team. Family, who are our red team. And let's get game three underway. Whoo! This is just so much fun. Sorry, they had a little bit of dead air there, but we'll try and keep the action going. So how are they going to work with the uh, the Stingray 2? Are we going to see some interesting action there? I'm pretty much hoping that we're going to see probably most of the action. Probably, I would imagine on this northern sort of part of the island. Uh, that, that could be where a lot of fighting is going. And it looks like the... Uh, I see I ghost in chat... Talking about the last game should be interesting. Glad you're enjoying it. It definitely was a good game. But anyway, game three is underway. Uh, let's go over and keep an eye on family and see where they position. They're on this spawn. They're on the red spawn here. Oh, we've got to restart. We've got a uh, we've got a restart situation here. Looks like one of the family guys is disconnected. Looks like we have a restart situation. So bear in mind, guys. We're going to go back to the lobby now. We're going to kill each other. Go back to the lobby. They're going to drown each other. Shoot each other. And we're going to reset to let um, the Sabra from Nameless get back onto the server. Whew. I see Hydra there in Rip High. Oh, I see the comments going for the last game. Okay, we've got to reset here. Looks like the, uh, the hype guys are killing each other. And, uh, yeah, it's brutal here. Brutal damage. Uh, let's get back. They're drowning. Look at that. It's the easiest way to do it is to drown. Okay, have we got... Pavel's the disconnect. So it looks like we had two disconnected. Let's uh, quit the battle, head back to the lobby, and let's wait for them to reset. So just to recap, Hype 1, Game 1. Game 2 was a draw. Hype are leading. We're on to Game 3 here. We've just had to do a restart due to disconnects. Uh, and we're going to have to see how quickly the guys can get back onto the server. We're going to get reset again. I'm not expecting any changes to the lineups. The tanks should be set into play. Uh, and we're going to see how much fun it's going to be. Right. Just catch up on chat in a minute. Faster push would be nice. It's strong enough for the last game. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Yeah, interesting, guys. Interesting. Uh, this is one comment that pulled up. Yes, I saw that one. I did note it. I will pass the feedback on, but I don't think it's going to happen. Right, anyway, we're getting set up for game three. Uh, we had a few disconnects from our Russian friends. Looks like they're all pretty much back on. Um, Zabino's there. Inside tank. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Are they allowed to... Is it new picking? No, it's not new picking. It should be exactly the same. Looks like Inside was trying to get a sneaky switch to a, a Stingray 2, but he has to go back to the Sabra Mark 2. The tank choices are locked in from the first game. We had some disconnects, um, which meant we had to reset the game and restart it, but tanks should be the same. They are now the same. If, Sabra pick, uh, if Inside picks his Sabra, um, looks like there. Da, 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 da. And again, you should do commentary about Manchester Hydra. No, no time. Okay, guys, match is underway, game three. And remember, Andy J is in the YouTube chat. He is covering games tomorrow over on his Twitch channel. Um, 
The link is on the Armoured Warfare portal for Tuesday night's games. Make sure you go over there and give him your support as well. Good evening once again after the restart. We have game number three going on here. And let's have some serious, serious fun. Let's hope we get no disconnects and we can get match three underway as quickly as possible. Good evening once again, everyone. I hope you're all good. And is it looking like we're all in? It looks like we're all in. Look at that, my lovely connection. We've got 82 milliseconds on this map. And looks like both both teams are in. So let's go again back over. Where are we going? We're going over to family, aren't we? So I'm expecting to see a lot of the action take place on this northern side. I'm not expecting a lot of action to take place on the southern half of the map. But we'll have to see. I may get surprised. Da -da -da -da. But I hope you enjoyed game number two. Hopefully game number three is going to be as fascinating, as exciting. And you're going to get to see some decent tank-on-tank -tank action. Full metal power, hey? Okay, so let's have a look. Family are surprisingly... Well, they're taking a Sabra. Nameless is taking a Sabra. No, he's pushing up. That's okay. I thought he was going to go really onto the southern area. But he's just taking a different route. And the action is pretty much going to be in the middle. Looks like Family are trying to control the runway section. And look at this. Hype have got their VBL. They've got Zoo and the VBL right up onto this little island. Good little spotting position for this part of the map. Uh, but he's not going to spot a lot from there. The rest of the Hype guys are pretty much in the middle. They're not committing everyone forward at the moment. Looking where the spawns are. And shots are going to be fired across. Smoke's been popped. And look, the action's actually started. Look at this. Um, Hype are just trying to push up this area here. You can see where family are. They've pushed in for a quick cap. Wow, this is interesting. They've got... One tank in there, two tanks in it. It's now down to hype. Look at that. They took the advantage of getting a vehicle hull down behind this wrecked aircraft. And look at this. 75 seconds. They've got two two tanks in the cap circle. Uh, looks like a couple of challenges are actually pushing out to just as a, as a blocking maneuver. Uh, they've still got... Uh, Challenger 1 Wolf at the back here, and the Warrior here, and look at this, you can see Hype are spinning some vehicles up here, and look, Zvesky in his Milan is going to get the spots there, and now it's going to be a full defensive operation here, and it's down to Hype to get the interrupts in, spots are coming, um, looks like we've got two Sabra Mark II's that have really worked to get into the position here, and looks like they're going to go for an early cap there, um, Zvesky's taken a lot of damage in his Warrior Milan, he's not done a lot of damage in return, Hype are bringing up a uh, Stingray 2 and a VBO up on the south, but look, this, uh, this cover we've got a challenger one wolf as well as Zavinsky in his milan just stopping them from really pushing up and zabino and zoo pull back pull back 40 seconds on the cap hype really now have to think of something they've got to get interrupts on these guys here and they go first shots coming in nice work across from inside tank and his uh sabra Martsu. but these are in a really good position and this could be the tactic they've got good hull cover there they're not popping any smokes at the moment. And look at this. It's 7 versus 7. 18 seconds left on the cap. This could be an amazingly quick game. Um, Hype have taken a bit of damage there. Are they going to push in from this side? No, they're, they're pretty much staying out of it at the moment. Uh, we've got... Oh, we had an interrupt there. We had an interrupt. Look at that. Master Windy took some damage. Good shots from Hype. Didn't see it was. I've got a feeling it was possibly inside tank. He's in a good position there. But the shots have flung over. Looks like... Are they going to be firing Hesh at these guys? Are they going to be trying to get the interrupts in there? 48 seconds on the cap circle. And Hype are trying to just get these guys to do it. And as you can see... Uh, Zavinsky and his Milan is going after Zabino and Zoo. Zoo's over there controlling it nicely. Uh, Pavel is at the back. And again, Hyper are being reduced to taking sniping shots. They've got a few more interrupts. Uh, Nameless had to come out of the camp circle. He's taking a bit of damage. And look at this. F1, uh, FR, uh, FR1 over here has taken a lot of damage in 1480. Some good accurate shooting from Hype. But Family are still in the camp. Zoo's taking his VBL now. He's going to try and swing around behind. Shots are coming in. Zabino is there in his Stingray 2 Black Eagle. Trying to work on the Warrior Milan. Inside tank is taking some damage. Um, yes, Zavinsky is taking him down to 167 hit points. With some awesome auto cannon shots. And I think some ATDM shots as well. Uh, inside tank is on low health. He's on 167. The cap is being uh, contested. They are getting interrupts are hype. But at the moment, family have a little bit of an advantage. Who's going to be the first tank to go down? You've got Raging over there on 738. You've got Inside on 167 hit points. And now look at this. 
We've got a Challenger 1 and Zavinsky in the Warrior Milan going after Zabino in his Stingray 2 Black Eagle. Can he get behind? They've not spotted where he's gone. He's going to get some rear shots, but should he be going for the Capso? He can't go for the Capso. He's got next. He's been spotted there. Combat going on here, and it's now uh, Warrior versus Stingray 2. Missiles going in. First missile fire. Smoke pops out. Let's just take a quick look over at the caps. We've got 45 seconds on there. Inside tank still in the game on 167 hit points. Um, Hype are now pushing their Challenger 1s up. They're in the low ground at the moment. They've got a short amount of time to get in there. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, Zavisky is down to 1,041 hit points. Zabino is there on 1667. And he's going to go straight into the front of this Challenger 1. This is not a great move. Oh, there you go. Shots fired. Can he get behind? Can he get out of there? Is he going to circle the rock? He's just trying to draw him out to give Hyper a chance to get in there. Uh, let's have a look at um, Zoo over here. Zoo over here is engaging with uh, the Warrior Milan from Zavitsky. And he goes down. And this the advantage has gone to family. Um... Inside tank was on 160, uh, was on low health. He's gone down. Zoo got taken out. There's their eyes. 72 seconds on the cap. Um, fantastic work. We've got two Sabra Mark IIs covering the cap circle using the aircraft as cover. They're now moving around. They came out of the circle. Namers came out of the circle. Are they going for a win? Oh, look at this. And we've got two MBTs heading over Good God from Poland. And his, his wolf. And look at this. You've got the warrior Milan coming behind him. This is all about um, isolating and taking out uh, an enemy enemy team member. And God from Poland is, is going to in, in serious damage. Can he fight it? Is there a way out of it? It's 4-6. Um, definitely advantage to family. And what's the, where, who's the, the next one to die? Look at this. God from Poland did a fantastic job. Did some amazing damage there. But he gets taken out the... The amount of firepower going against it was just too much. And now it looks like Family are on a 3-6. Looks like they're going to do this. It's now 2-6. And Family have got this game. Really great aggressive push. They put the onus on Hypes to come after them. Absolutely nice work there. Good use of the cap circle. And now it's massive. He's one of only two vehicles left. He's going to go down fairly quickly. He's on 11.33 hit points. Uh, Pavel's on 3,130. What an interesting battle, guys. I, I, I was just... Great work from Family, good domination, good aggression to get into the cap circle. They pushed it, Family get the win, and what an absolutely outstanding second game. A th third game, rather. Blimey, I am just totally and utterly uh, flabbergasted that. What good results from there. Let's get that one sorted out. We're on a 1-1 one -one situation, and let's look at the, um, the post-game results. Okay, so there we go. Hype lead one. Well, it's 1-1, one, one, I think. We had a first game was to Hype. Second game was a draw. Third game was a family. It's 1-1. One, one. We're about to go into game four. Okay, let's look at the damage. Nameless Pawn from Family did 3,828. Um, Hype, uh, Asrock did 2,087. Other notable performances... Um, NCS from Family did 4,603 damage. Pavel, fantastic, 5,314. Definitely advantage to Family in this last game. Selection is taking place for game number four. And let's, um, let's see how we get on for the next one. Whoa, this is interesting. Definitely, definitely interesting. What an interesting game. I think Family did a fantastic job there. They dominated the early exchanges in the cap circle. Got two tanks protecting those slightly weaker hulls. Got those turrets in action. Um, Hype were able to do some damage, but they just were isolated in the fact they couldn't push on there. Are we going to see Hype, when the map is reversed, do exactly the same? Or are we going to see something different from Hype? But definitely was a fun, fun game. Good evening, everybody. I hope you're all fantastic. Well, lovely to see uh, a few people here. Um, we're just having a bit of fun. We're just waiting for the selections to be done. And it is good to see everyone. I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am. Ooh. 91 of you watching right now. We're going into sank selections for game number four. Really? Are we going to go forward? What's going on? Selections. We're going. We've got two tanks selected from each team. Looks like it's a fairly slower sort of uh, section here. Uh, not sure why they're taking so long to actually um, get their tanks chosen. And get into game. Hmm? 
The score is 1-1. Hype won game one. Second game was a draw. And Family have just won game three. So it is 1-1. It is the best of... Well, best of seven games. So first team to hit three. Um, we'll get there. And hopefully uh, the rules and the... How the uh, the competition is on the Armoured Warfare uh, portal. Go take a look at that. But good evening, everybody. Wow. Some definitely interesting games. Da, da, da. I, I'm having a lot of, a lot of, a lot of fun. Okay. So we have, I think, game four starting. Not many serious changes going on. Sabras, we're looking. Pavel in a Challenger 1. Um, let's have a look and see what hype do. You've got one Sabra at the moment, two Sabras. Sabino's in a Sabra. Sabino was in a Stingray too. I think that they're probably going to go for a similar sort of a fit. Is Inside Tank going to go to his Stingray 2 for this game? Or is he going to stick with the Sabra he's been playing so far? Uh, I guess we're going to have to see. We've got five picks from our Russian friends. And we've got four picks at the moment from a hype. Hopefully, we're going to have some fun. Uh, and hopefully, you guys are going to be enjoying it. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, it's definitely me. It's definitely me. Definitely. Definitely me for a British accent there. Okay. We have a good game. What's... Come on, get this tank selected. You smoke already? No. Okay, come on. Come on. Select these tanks. It's all gone a bit of a go slow. So, guys, when you see this game that was just, just taking place, what do you think? Was it good work from family there? Did they use this, the, the side of the map they spawned on to get into a really good position and get some tanks hull down behind that crashed aircraft in the cap circle? Fantastic. I thought it was a great move. It, it definitely used the advantages of the tanks they had. <laughs> okay, thank you, His Hairiness. I, I hear you there. I hear you there. <laughs> good, guys. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's good to have you guys here. I really do appreciate it. Uh, make sure you are checking out the other streamers on the streams tomorrow. I think it's Andy J tomorrow uh, for the English server. There will be some Russian and some French. No, 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 no French streamers tomorrow. There's some Russian and some Polish streamers as well tomorrow. And hopefully we can have some fun for the rest of this evening. We've been going on. I think it's going to be a good. I mean, we've we've done basically four games. It's taken a, almost an hour. So uh, I think we're going to be going on here for a good few hours. It's going to be a long night, guys. I hope you're ready to stick with me for it. We're on six picks each. Uh, no real change. Inside has gone for his Stingray 2. He wanted to change that when the uh, the game crashed in uh, the, the previous start for the first game. Zoo's, Zoo's changed. Wow, this is interesting. Okay, so Hyper definitely going for a more uh, MBT focus. I think they are going to push the cap and, and try and get into the position that Family had. They're, they're using the Stingray 2, I think, as their primary spotting vehicle. They're going to use MBTs. Um, let's look at family. They've got three Sabras, three Challengers, and a Warrior. That's been almost their lineup for most of the game so far. You can see these vehicles at Tier 7 are definitely the vehicles to choose. Remember, guys, don't forget there's a competition from codes. The codes are good for the EU server. There is a Fox Pack, a BMPT Terminator. I have no idea which Terminator it is, but it's a Terminator. Uh, and there's also a Mercenary Tank Pack for you guys to win. The draw will take place on Friday. Uh, once all these first week of games. Now remember, you've got games Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Then we take a break for a couple of days. We're back again next Monday, next Tuesday, next Wednesday, next Thursday. I would imagine the EU streamers are going to be the same for next week. Uh, me, Monday, Wednesday, and DJ, Tuesday, Thursday. But stay in touch with YouTube, and you'll get to know that as soon as I know that. And here we go. We have our second game on Lost Island. Family are our blue team. Hyper are our red team. It's game on, guys. Let's see what happens next. A quick drink. Oh, you guys are awesome. Hello there. I see Mikey in chat. I see Sonic in chat. I see some old friends and some new friends there, guys. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, everybody. Uh, Mikey, check Discord. Planko will be tomorrow, mate. Okay. Ready, everybody? Here we go. We are going up for the next game. Let's see where we go. Guys, are we going to see hype? Do that aggressive push. 
Uh, I think we're going to go and stick over with Hype for now. We're going to see if they're going to push their team uh, into the middle and really try and get into this position with the camp circle and do what Family did last time. They've got some awesome cover here. Now, Family have just done that tactic. Will they try and take someone up here and get to the side? Will they get people over onto that, that little area just over here? Uh, I, I guess so. Inside, I think, did a decent job over there. We have a look from here. Really hard to get some spots over there and some shots across. You can see how much cover is over there. And we have got another disconnect. So it looks like we're going to get another reset. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. Looks like that is it. We have another reset going. Apologies for this, guys. There seems to be a few little problems with people getting connected to the game. Uh, looks like we have got a reset situation here. Are they resetting? Yes. A nameless hasn't loaded in. These guys should be suiciding themselves, killing themselves. There you go. They're going into the water. Okay, hype are going to drown. And there we go. Right. We have a disconnect. Confirmed disconnect. You can see over here, that's the disconnect icon. And there we go. Hype are suiciding themselves. We're going to reconnect the game. Um... Come on, come on. There we go. Look at that. There we go. Okay. So let's come out of this one. Let's quit the battle for their suicide. And we'll reset and reset this game and hope that everyone can get connected to the server for these games. Now remember, these servers are in the RU region. It's a special tournament server. The only people on this server are the players in all the teams. The selection of um, streamers and YouTuber. Um, KDH440, I believe, is a Russian streamer. I haven't got his Twitch details, but it's on the uh, Armored Warfare portal, I would imagine. Maybe it's on the RU portal because he's a Russian streamer. Um, Spishkris? Spishkris. Spishkris is a Polish streamer. Um, his details are on the, uh, the Armored Warfare EU portal. Uh, let's hope that we can get everyone connected and back into this battle as quickly as we can. Nameless is there. Nameless is back in game. He's back in the team. There we go. Tanks are readying up. We've got no changing of the tanks. They've got to go in the same vehicles. Um, looks like we've had two disconnects on this particular map. Uh, maybe, maybe there is a little problem. I don't know. Primus says, I wish the stream wasn't pixelated. Is it pixelated? No. It's not pixelated on this end. Primer, maybe it's your connection, mate. Maybe it's your connection. Everything on the YouTube end is perfectly fine. Uh, let's just have a look. Yeah, it looks okay for me. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Let's just check that one. I don't know. Uh, maybe. There's a little bit, actually. Hmm. Stream health is okay. Okay, well, we'll worry about that later. We can't worry about that. Hopefully, you're going to see it as well as you can. Okay, got 97 people watching. We're going for an hour and seven minutes. Game four is underway. Hmm? 101. 101. Oh, okay. There we go. Hey, I see some other, other people there. You guys are going to have to let me know if other people are seeing pixelization with the stream. Uh, we're streaming at 720, 60 frames per second. Everything should be okay. Um, we're on fairly high settings. Okay, and here we are. Game game going again. Uh, let's have a look. We're going to go over hype. And we're going to see again if they do decide to do what family did last time. And actually get into this area here. Okay, let's go down. Check these guys out. Sound is only on when we're close to the opposing tanks. And there we go. You can see inside in his Stingray 2 pushing on there. Da, da, da. Are they going to go for it? No, they're not. They're not going for the quick cap. They're going on to be aggressive. And they're pushing on on the northern flank. Wow, we're going to see a tank battle here, guys. No one's rushing the cap. Hype aren't rushing the cap. Looks like they're trying to get this sorted out. Tank on tank. Uh, no cap kill all sort of situation at the moment. 
and Hype are pushing into aggressive positions. They're getting into these positions here. They can get um, some decent cover, and it's then going to be a case of who actually comes out and fights first. So Vinsky is here in his warrior. He's on the island. And there we go. We have MBTs here. And you can see inside tank of this Stingray 2 up over by the cap circle. He, is he going to go to the cap circle? If they can spot that all of the uh, family tanks are down here. Remember, family are in blue. Um, Hype are in the are our red team. And there we go. Look at inside tank. He's over the top. He's not going for the cap circle. Ooh, smart move. As shots are firing in. Okay. Whew. What an interesting, interesting start, guys. Hope you're having fun. Good to have you guys here. We've got a little bit of a static phase. Just some shots firing across between Family and Hype. We've got MBTs here just using the terrain. And as you can see from these positions, um, you've got Raging Ishmael. He is a little bit exposed over there from certain positions. But uh, he's got a strong old turret in that Challenger 1. Missiles flying across there. I, I guess that was from uh, Zavinsky and his warrior. And you can see, look at this, look at this. Massive has got into this position here. Interesting. And look at this. Inside tank. Let's go over to inside tank. Inside tank is sneaking round to get behind these guys. Uh, has Savinsky seen him? Not sure. Inside is actually just aiming over at those tanks over there. He can't, can't get shots off. Is he going to go round the Ack of the Island? Is he going to go this way? Uh, looks like. Let's just have, keep an eye on this for now. The MBT battle is just a slugfest in the middle. Uh, there's a bit of damage taken by family. But let's just maintain what's... Okay, Zvetsky is here. Uh, inside is coming around with his Stingray. Okay, now I think they know that inside in his Stingray 2 is around. A couple of the, the enemy MBTs, they're turning here. They're just covering this back area. It's almost like they're sensing that there's one enemy tank there. And they're pushing on support to Zvetsky here in his warrior. And you've got a Sabra Mark II and a warrior working together. Looks like inside he's going to think about poking around. He could get into a situation where he's caught. Look at this. Look at what family thinks. They swing around the back. They're going to try and control this engagement from there. Uh, inside's not going to be able to go out and engage these guys too much. He needs help from his friend. He needs hype. And look at this. Some good damage there. Master Windy's taken a lot of damage. Down to 597. Um... I'm kind of concerned. Inside is now trying to get out of there. He's trying to keep an eye on both sides of the action. We've got Master Windy on 579. Inside tank is trying to get out of there as quickly as possible. He certainly is there. Shots fired across. Okay, back to the slugfest over here. A nice little feint from um, inside tank there. Uh, looks like Master Windy took a heck of a lot of damage. Possibly from some inside and probably from the MBTs here. And now you can see Hype aggressively pushing a couple of vehicles into advanced positions. Trying to back up inside tank. And it's now Hype that are trying to isolate some of the family tanks. Uh, Massive is here in a good position. He's taking shots across the uh, Sabra on the island, the Challenger. And look at this. Look at this. Inside tank is being engaged by a Sabra. Inside tank is taking some damage. He's isolated a one-on-one -on -one situation. He's down to 350. The Sabra is doing an absolute outstanding work on him. And look at this. Zavensky is coming around into Milan. Looks like inside tank is going to be the first casualty. And this is first blood to family as they take out inside tank. Inside got a little bit... A little bit caught on his own with very little support. And now Hyper trying to push in. They know there's two vehicles over there. Inside would have told them. And they're now pushing in. They're pushing in on these MBTs. They need to take out Master Windy quick. Really do need to vote. Asok is taking a lot of damage down to 8, 8, 80, 865. Massive is coming in now. They need to take out Master Windy very, very quickly before reinforcements coming in. But he's got protection. He's got a challenger there. They can't go after him all in one. Hyper coming here. There's... Sneaking around there. Sabino is going to be pretty exposed here. There they go. They take out Master Windy. It's now... Um, Zumisk has gone down from height. It's 6-5 to Family. Um, hit points, I think, are on Family's side. Look at this. Asaki is being attacked from behind. He's down to 575. Challenger 1 Fion from Massive is engaging um, a, a, a Marta Project. And it's now 6-3. And Family have got this one sewn up. A good aggressive play from Family. Hype made their play. It didn't work out for them. God from Poland's about to go down. He goes down. It's one versus six. Uh, six and it's down to Massive here. Yeah. Outstanding play. Family have absolutely dominated. Dominated this particular map. 
done a fantastic, fantastic job. Looks like Hype are going to go down and Family take the advantage in this map. They've won two games on there and this is going to be a two games to one lead for Family. What an interesting game, guys. As it goes down, 6-0. Fantastic work there. And we have a lead now from family and family are my left scores on there so let's change that up there an awesome awesome work let's just save that one two to one to family we'll take a quick look at the post game stats and then we'll take a quick little break while I refresh my mouth and refresh my drink but what a game our Russian friends have certainly done a fantastic job on this Lost Islands map, winning both games. And let's have a look. Look at the damage they've done. Nameless did 4,850 in his Sabra Mark II. You've got uh, Massive from Hype did 3,585. A massive 6,237 damage from uh, Isis in his um, Sabra Mark II. Uh, and some good damage overall, guys. Uh, family have taken advantage in this game and hopefully we're going to see the next map which is pipelines and we are going to go into our next game family lead two games to one it's basically uh hype need to be aggressive in the next game they need to win this game okay guys we're going to let the tank selection go on let's take a little break while i have a drink and i'll be right back Okay, I've had a drink. The voice is refreshed for now. Good evening once again, everybody. At the moment, it's advantage to our Russian friends from Family Orlandus. Um, they have done a superb amount of work on the Lost Islands map. They won both games on Lost Island. First game, a really aggressive capping move. They, they got into the cap circle and they forced Hype to come on them. Second game... Good defensive play from them. Um, Hype's in, uh, uh, Stingray 2 player inside tank get caught out on his own. He got isolated. And suddenly, um, Family were able to, to really then claw in the damage and take out Hype very, very quickly. Good evening, everybody. What a fantastic, fantastic game. Oh, we're just now waiting for tank selections. Um, maybe we've got a disconnect. I don't know. Um, we've got some... Vehicle changes. It looks like Massive is, is selected as Centauro 105. Is this a bluff? Or is he going to go with a tank destroyer on Pipeline's map? This could be interesting. Uh, I don't think we got to see Pipeline's in the uh, Spring Cup early this month. Um, so I don't think... Um, I've not seen Hype play on it. And of course I've not seen um, Family play on it. And hopefully we're going to get some awesome, awesome games on Pipeline. Uh, good evening, everyone from Russia, from Europe, from North America, wherever you are in the world. Good evening and welcome to the stream. Welcome to this Armored Warfare League international game between Family Orlandas and Hype. And I'm probably brutalizing their names. And if you guys can use English, that would be a great, but a big hi from you guys. It is good to see a few people here. Uh, two DCs a day is normal, I hear from Gus in the chat. Ah, uh, yeah, well... It's, it's the way of servers these days, but good evening. I wish I spoke some Russian, um, but uh, you guys hopefully are enjoying the, at least the gameplay. You know, whatever language we speak, we can still watch the gameplay. We can still see what's going on, and we can still enjoy what is going on there. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, um, we've got the first selections up um, from Hype. Sabino so has selected his VBL. Um, let's just see what we're going to see now. Some of the family guys are back in TATUs. Um, Pavel at the moment has got a VBL. He's not selected. Is this the bluff? Uh, Massive has, has now changed from his Centauro 105 to a 9910. I wonder if in our own TeamSpeak or Discord channels there's intense conversation over minor changes to their team lineups in regard to vehicles and based on what they've seen so far in this game. You know, how much reaction do these teams have to, to what they see in the earlier games and how is that going to affect them going forward? Will it change their plans? Let's see as we go on. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Uh, it is good to see everyone here. 
I see Andy J there in chat. Hopefully, uh, you guys will go and support him tomorrow on Twitch, where he's streaming two games, uh, two matches rather, from this Armored Warfare League international tournament. There's a good amount of gold on offer, and yes, Pavel has chosen his VBL. So we have two VBLs now. This this could be a, a little bit of, of tactical. They they each select a tank alternately. So we're going to see some tactical play. Are we going to see something unusual? Are we going to see something different? Um, inside tank, he's still got his, his Stingray 2 selected. You can see Massive, he is trying to, to psych uh, his Russian friends out. He's gone from Centauro 105. He's um, then went to his 9910. He's now in his M62000. I don't think he's going to choose the M62000. I've got a feeling he's either going to be in a Challenger or a Sabra. And there we go. We've got a Sabra, a uh, Challenger 1, and a VBL at the moment from Hype. Um, Family have chosen uh, a VBL and a Sabra at the moment. And bless you to my Excuse lovely me. wife who's sneezing in the background. God damn summer pollen season. Okay, guys, this is a really, really important game for um, Hype. They need to get a win to draw it back to a 2-2 two -two situation. Um, they are going to have to play as aggressively as they feel they can get away with in order to get the point on the board and get this game won. Ooh, three tanks selected each. The tank selection is going a little bit slower. Hopefully we're not going to get some disconnects there. I can see Russian uh, Noirs using her Russian in chat. Uh, greetings to all she's saying in Russian. <laughs> Google Translate for the win, hey? Okay, guys, let's see where we're going um wow this is interesting we've got two vbls uh raging has chosen a vbl zabino's in a vbl that's a very very aggressive um scouting play using, maybe using those 80 gems to their full um we've got sabra on the opposing team two sabras on the opposing team um what have we got now god from poland is in his challenger one two vbls uh, two Sabras inside tank actually has gone down and chosen his Sabra Mark II. The thing Massive has changed his vehicle again. He hasn't selected yet. He doesn't have to select until he's ready to select. It takes his turn. Challenger one there from family. Is it Massive to choose that? I think Massive is going to be the last one to select his team. A zoo will probably go, I would imagine, with the, the Sabra Mark II. Maybe a Challenger, but probably a Sabra. Uh, we are looking at five picks each. Come on, guys. Get this picking done. Let's get these games over. And there we go. We've got a couple of challengers. A warrior from Zavinsky is playing well. Nameless has chosen a T80U. It's down to Massive. What's he going to go for? Challenger 1, Sabra, 9910, Centauro 105. I've got a feeling it's going to be the challenger. Come on, Massive. Make that choice. Don't keep us in suspense any longer. Let's get this next game going as quickly as we can. Thank you very much, Levo. <laughs> I, I try and do my best, mate. I try and do my best. Okay, okay, Massive, he's, he's changed again to Centauro 105, but he's not selected the tank yet. Is it going to be a tank destroy? Is this going to be the first game we see a tank destroy in action, or rather a gun tank destroy in action? Um, come on, Massive. Make that selection. Stop keeping us waiting. We all want to see what's going on. Da -da -da. And Massive, he's chosen the Centauro 105. This is going to be interesting. Uh, that is going to be awesome. Awesome, awesome. Let's see what goes on. Game is in progress. This is our first encounter game on the Pipelines map. Um, family have a 2-1 lead. Uh, Hype need to win this game in order to continue the contest on. Um, let's see how Hype do. They've gone for a very aggressive scouting start of two VBLs. They've got a Centauro 105 from Massive. Going to be really interested to see how he goes using that Centauro 105. And... We've got the family team that have got a VBL, a Warrior, two Challengers, two Sabras, and a T-80U. Now, nameless is T-80U. Could be good. The T-80U has got a good turn of speed compared to, say, a Challenger Challenger 1. Uh, did I say Challenger 2 earlier? I may have done it. I meant Challenger 1s, of course. Uh, let's see how we get on. Uh, let's see. At the moment, we've got two... Okay, battle has started. Everyone's joined. Looks like no disconnects. We're on the Pipelines map. Um, family are our blue team, Hype are our red team. Let's go over and have a look to see initially where the VBLs from Hype go. And also, um, 
where Massive is going to go in his Centauro 105. So let's get over here, guys, and let's see where the action plays. We'll see where these guys set up from hype, and then we'll move on and just check out where the family guys set up as well. Good evening, everyone. And let's see what we can do. Okay. So the hype guys and their Challenger ones are moving out. Uh, we can see Massive RU is... He's going across the river. This is going to be interesting. We've got Ishmael in his VBL into the middle. Uh, you can see the uh, family guys are aggressively pushing this side. Um, wow, this is going to be interesting. Massive RU. Massive is going to be distinctly separated from the rest of his team. Is he going to be in a position where he can do some serious damage? First shots coming in as these tanks are over the ridge lines. It's getting a bit closer. And using again the ridge lines, we can see tanks going up here. And it's definitely a slugfest. But hang on. We've got Zabino and his VBL coming into the middle area on the other side of the river. We've got inside tank. Doesn't look like he's quite happy with the position he's in. And shots and missiles being fired across. Uh, we've got a little bit of damage to the Sabra Mark II of uh, Isis there. Um, Zavinsky and his warrior Milan is over there. And Zoo is pushing on to... FR, uh, FR, FR1. Shots are exchanged, but no serious damage there. Let's just have a look. And look at this. Massive is, is pulling all the way over to there. So he's heading to the cap circle. Um, we've got VBL coming in here. We've got MBT versus MBT. Um, so really, um, Hype have, have really split their forces up. You look where Zabino is over on the far side. You look at where God from Poland is here. They've really got this long stretching defensive line here you've got one enemy vehicle from um family that's that's semi-exposed and look at this now you can see vinsky in his milan is engaging over and trying to go after zabino what's massive doing he's massive being able to use if he gets isolated by that warrior he's in a lot of trouble can he get that gun playing let's just stick with massive as he tries to get and he's going in he is going in against the warrior Whoa! Whoa! We had some airtime here. Massive is going to get taken out, though. Oh, wow. VBL from Pavel there takes out Massive. And again, Massive got taken out being in that Santaro 105. He tried to do the little jump onto the Warrior. Um, I think it's just he wasn't able to get into a position where he was able to affect what he wanted to do. And that is, firstly, advantage to family here. And you can see family have now secured the middle hill. These guys here from the, you know, their challengers and their, well, their sabras are going to have to move from that position or they're going to risk taking shots from these guys over there. You can see Pavel over there in his VBL. Missiles firing across. You can see Vizinski over there on his warrior. Vizinski's going after Zabino over there. And again, you can see as we're going into here, um, FR1 has taken a bit of damage. That's 2,157. And you can see over at the back here that... Um, this Sabra Mark II is on ooh, a, a low amount of damage there. He's on 440 hit points. Let's just have a look at that. Shots going across. Uh, looks like Zavinsky is all the way over there. Pavel is down. We are now on a situation of six versus six. Let's just have a look at uh, Raging Ishmael here. And look at this. Look at this. Zavinsky is going around after Zabino. Shots are being fired across. Uh, inside tank is taking a big hit there. He's down to a 538 hit points. He's in a really poor shape. And another, 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 another kill for Hype. Fantastic work from Hype. They've got a two tank advantage. Can they pull this together? Can they get the win? God from Poland is aggressively pushing across the section here. You've got... Uh, family's uh, Challenger 1's here. We've got uh, uh, Nameless in his T-80U Spacewalker here on 2140. You've got uh, Zavinsky trying to engage against Raging Ishmael. Milan versus VBO. It's important for Family to take out Raging Ishmael. Missiles going out. Smoke pop. 331. The, the, the auto cannon on the Warrior Milan uh, is, is certainly being an advantage here. Ishmael is going to go down, I think. I don't think he can withstand this. Can he avoid it? Can he get a second missile loaded in? He's getting caught on the rocks. Missile going. So he misses from close range. Missile again. He's 2, 289. And he gets taken out. Savinsky's on low health, but he takes it. It's back to 4-5. The advantage is swinging back to family very, very quickly. Nicely done there. Although family are on low hit points over here. Uh, what can Zabino do here? 
289 for Savinsky over there. Uh, it's Milan Warrior versus VBL. Uh, the Warrior is definitely superior at the moment. And let's have a look. Inside tank is down to 538 hit points. Okay. Uh, Zoo here needs to take out. Um, and he takes him out. Lovely shot there. Missile from Sabino. It's 3-4. It's really down to that. Can Master Windy survive against two MBTs coming at him? We've got a Challenger 1 Wolf. We've got Asok there and his sub Sabra Mark 2. He's going to go down very, very quickly. And Master Windy takes 1 8. It's down to 573 hit points. Good for Imponent. He's coming up as quickly as he can. But it's a Challenger 1. He just doesn't have the speed. Uh, Master Windy is going to get a shot into him. No damage there. First lovely kill there. It's 2 3. Hype have got the slight advantage on this. They've got a hit point advantage. But now they need to keep their tanks alive. Let's just go have a look at uh, Zabino over here. He needs to stay alive. Look at this. Zavinsky did a fantastic job. And Zavinsky's taken out another one of the VBLs. The Milan Warrior. The Warrior itself is done a fantastic job. That auto cannon. That makes so much difference. And now look at this. They are pulling out of there. They're on low health. You've got Zavinsky's on 289. You've got Nameless there and his TATU Spacewalk on 244. Uh, it's 2-2. Two, two. And we've got very fast moving vehicles um, being chased by two slow moving MBTs. Is it going to be a case of, of getting to the cap circle? Looks like uh, family are splitting up. Uh, they are in the weakest position with their hit points. But both of those vehicles are... They've got 80 gems. That uh, Spacewalker's got a good gun. But Zavinsky in his Milan has done a fantastic job. He took out the two VPLs. Nicely done to you. And this is it now. Family are just retreating back using the ridge line, And they are going to be covering the cap circle. You can see they can get missiles into the cap circle. Hype now have 3 minutes and 21 seconds to try and get either these guys dead as quickly as possible. Or get into a position in the cap. And I think they're going to have to come after them. I think... A family going to try and... They need to win this. If family win this, it is game over. What are Hype going to do? How are they going to actually achieve this? Look at this. Really defensive positions from family. Let's go with the two Hype guys here. Shots firing out. Uh, they're getting into the cap circle. Okay, they've got one into the cap circle. Zoo's in the cap circle. He doesn't have a lot of cover. You can... Uh, God from opponent is trying to give him a little bit of protection. They're going to try and draw out Nameless. His T, uh, T80U is a 240. But they, these, these family guys are all a one-shot kill. But they've got good... Good vision, good ATMs. That Zavinsky and the Warrior has done an absolutely outstanding job this game. Let's just stick with uh, Hype here just to see what they're going to do. Challenge one Fionn there. And you can see Zavinsky will be able to poke his nose up, get a missile over at these guys as long as they are spotting him. 99 seconds on the cap circuit. Smoke is being popped out. Okay, Nameless is now going to have to come in. He needs to stop this. Is he going to push down into this area here? They're coming in for a two-pronged attack. The question is, can he get into this position here? Get over here and get a shot in and interrupt that cap circle. Two minutes to go on the game. 80 seconds on the cap circle. He's gone all the way around. He's going all the way around over to here. So Nameless is going to get up into this position here. Is he going to be able to get shots on? Is it going to be down to Zavinsky to get into the, this game with a missile? 65 seconds on the cap. 1 minute 44. Um, how are Hype going to do this? We've got a little bit of cover from behind them. They don't know where Nameless is. We can see where Nameless is. They're looking around. And look at this. Zavinsky's on the right. None of these guys have seen him. Hype haven't seen him. Missile's going to be coming in. Missile fires in. Misses the first shots. But it, I think there's some damage there. There was an interrupt. There was an interrupt. Nameless is over the back. Zavinsky, their shot comes in from Nameless. They know he's where he is now. They saw where the shot came in, but they're focusing on Zavinsky. They can't really go out after him. They're going to go after him? They can't go after him. They've got to in the cap circle. Okay, they come out of the cap circle. This is now a no-cap kill-all situation. They will not be able to cap this out. Um, Zavinsky just needs to get out of this as quickly as possible. And he's got the mobility and the speed to really get out of there. And look at this. These, these Challenger ones. Uh, they're going to try and get um, Nameless down. It's important they can kill at least one of these tanks. 50 seconds to go. 2-2. Two, two. Challenger 1's chasing after a warrior and a T-80U. Oh, they got it. They got one. It's now just Nameless. He's on 244 hit points. They got 43 seconds to get the shots onto Nameless. Let's just go over to Nameless. Let's see if we can get over there as quickly as possible. Nameless has to run. They, he has to run. He has to get into cover. He has to hide for 30 seconds. He can only cover one way. He is in the T-80U spacewalker. What a horrible camouflage. 
Now it's a question of can God from Poland and Zumis get their challenger ones in a position where they can do some damage. It's 18 seconds to go. This is going to be a case of trying to get that lucky shot into him. Spake Warsaw is covering one side. He's not covering the left side at the moment. Side of his turret, I'm not sure if they can see. Okay, there he's seen it. Okay, God from Poland is there. I think he's got shots on God from Poland. It's whether God from Poland's got shots on him. No, he hasn't. And that's it. A draw. Wow. What an interesting, interesting game. Flipping heck. Primer. Wow. This is draw number two. And what an interesting game. So we had two draws so far. Family lead this two games to one. There's been two draws. It's the first one to three. Another draw there. But what an awesome game. Let's take a look at the post-game stats. Some good damage. Um, Asiok is 5,700 damage. Hype. Uh, God from Poland did 3,700. Let's have a look at any standout. Uh, Zaveski, two kills, 4,053 damage. He made that warrior work. He dominated the VBLs. What a good game. Let's just have a look. A big shout out to Nameless. He stayed till the end. He survived. He helped get that draw. 3,354 damage. Wow, what an interesting, interesting game. Whoo! Okay, first team to win three matches. Exactly, Gino. First one, two, three there. Uh, yes, I saw that. Da, 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 da. Ba, 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 ba. Okay. Whew. And we're getting the selections in there. Well, let's see if they go. Oh, yes, best of seven, uh, six, six games will be on alternate maps, uh, a game each on each map. <sighs> okay, so it is two games to one. Now, this is just an absolutely outstanding game. We've been going on for, I don't know, 90-odd minutes now. These games were scheduled to take an hour... This, this may give sorry an advantage because, of course, Russia is an extra hour ahead of those guys. And let's see how we get on. You guys aren't seeing that. That's okay. Whew. Okay, guys, they are selecting up. Um, I mean, I think Hype did a good job there, but respect to the family, guys. I am... Absolutely, uh, Zaveski in that warrior. He made that warrior work. He took out the eyes and the 80 gems of the two VBLs. Looks like Hype are probably going to go for a similar sort of setup. It's a reverse start in this next game. Um, let's see how things go. But I, 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 I just think uh, it was it was uh, it was an awesomely fun game. Um, I, I think you know I can see chat. And you're going back to the last game where. Um, uh, where Massive did the, the flying jump in his Centaur 105. I just don't think Massive was able to get into the position that he wanted to. The 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 disposition of the family team just, I think, was, was enabled him not to get where he wanted to be. Uh, and he was kind of left with just trying to YOLO in on that game. And a, you know, a low-armoured Centaur 105 versus a, uh, a warrior with that awesome auto cannon. Uh, I don't think anything else could have happened in that game. <laughs> the moment when you want to be enter the garage and be remembered he will be remembered as much as i ghost was in one of the european games when he had his vpl stuck against those rocks anyway the teams are choosing their tanks and here we go we have uh massive is in his sabra mark ii this time they are abandoning the centauro 105 probably a good move there now the problem with this map is when you've got all these hills the challenger ones very very slow moving vehicles um I really need to keep at least one VBL in a position where it could do spotting and get around the map and use those ATGMs. Uh, but again, Zaviski and his warrior just did a fantastic job. Hats off to him. But anyway, let's get to the selections going forward. We've got... Um Okay, Pavel uh, selected VBL. We've got a Sabra Mark II, a Challenger 1. Nameless has chosen his T-80U again. Just waiting for... 
ISIS, whether he takes a VBL or whether he takes some other vehicle. Uh, only changes on the hype side. His massive has, I think, changed from his Centauro 105 to a Sabra Mark II. Just waiting for the last two vehicles to select. Is inside tank, is he going to take that Sabra Mark II? Are we going to see a second VBL? Inside is switching tanks. Looks like they're just waiting for the last picks. I'm not sure. The inside tank has changed with Stingray 2. Okay, they're going for a little bit of a light tank action here. We're just waiting now for one selection from Family. Uh, I don't understand the Russian that's going on in the uh, lobby chat, but hopefully we'll get this game going very, very soon. And um, we're just waiting for one selection from Family, and we're going to see how this game. Uh, Igo says poor Ishmael died of, from, f because of ping. Ooh, guys, I mean, what are the um, what's the pings are you guys getting um, on the RU server? In fact, any of the ones that are here that are playing from hype uh, or the are in contact with the hype, you know, what sort of ping levels are they getting playing on this tournament server? Okay, it looks like we have a little bit of discussion in Russian, and of course, my Russian is terrible. I have I have a Google Translate app on my phone. Da -da -da. I see Hector in chat there. Eighty gems with high ping, just not worth it. I said it'd be really interesting to know. I mean, I'm running about sixty-eight ping. Okay, we've got two VBLs on either side. Match is in progress. Let's see how we get on. But yeah, that close in combat with a slightly higher ping makes the VBLs also uh, um, eighty gems. Yes, definitely less effective. And you know, um, Savinsky in his warrior has has really dominated. Okay. <laughs> Here we go, guys. This is the second and final map on Pipeline. Or second map on Pipelines. Let's see how we're going. Uh, Hype are our blue team. Family are our red team. It's game on time, guys. This is it. Let's see if Hype can get uh, a, a decent, decent game going and take this into a decider. Okay. And remember, this is not the last of the action. We've got another match after this. We're going to be jumping in to a Plague Team versus Sorry right after this. We probably won't even get too much of a break because this is going on a lot longer, I think, than the tournament organizers anticipated. Uh, definitely a fun here. We have 10 seconds to go. Let's see if we can keep closer to the action. I know you guys have been saying that. And I noted what you said about streaming into 720. We will give uh, 1080, I guess, a try on... Wednesday, hopefully it'll be no problem, but we'll try it out anyway. Okay, here we go guys. Game is on. Second game on pipelines. Hype, as I said, are our blue team. Family are our red team. It's action time. It's battle time. Let's see what they're going to do. Okay, so let's just swing over here. And as you can see from the mini-map, Hype on our blue team are pushing all the way over this side. Bar one VBL in the middle. Zabino is uh, doing a scout in one side. Uh, we have uh, Raging Ishmael scouting on that hill there. And look at this. Look at this. Again, uh, Pavel in his VBL along Zavinsky in his Warrior. Coming up and supporting each other. So yeah, they are losing that MBT by taking the Warrior. But I think it's been very, very effective in the early parts of the game. We've got Inside Tank over on the hill up there. Shots are being fired now from the hype guys. They're using this hill area here. Let's just go down to the action here. Da, da, da. And we're going to see... Oh, look at this. This is interesting. Got from Poland and um, Zoo here. They're using this section here. But the um, the family guys have got the middle ground. Family have got the middle ground. They, they are really, I think, controlling it to a, a certain degree. What's Raging Ismail doing over there? Is he managing to get some shots across? There's been no damage. Oh, there has been some damage now. Savinsky in his warrior has taken an 80 GM from Raging Ishmael. He's down to 1486. And he's trying to get out there. You can see he's looking. You can see where Ishmael is. And now he is trying to get out there as quickly as he possibly can. And see, Pavel is moving as well. Let's go back here. Now hype control the middle ground. So they've got one VBL here, one VBL over there. And now we're getting close in, and these are just poking the ridge line now. Circling and poaching. You can see missiles firing across. Raging is he's under fire from the Warrior Milan, but no damage taken there. Let's just have a look over here. You can see a couple of the hype guys are hanging back on this area. And we've got uh, 
Zoo and God from Poland here just covering this 7-8 line. What sort of shots are they seeing from here? Well, you can see, you've, you've played this in the random queue. You know what they can see along here. You know these guys are going to be poking over this little bridge line area here. Uh, let's go back to the action in the middle because that seems to be interesting. Uh, we've got shots fired across. And we've got VBL, VBL versus VBL and Warrior. Um, although, looking at this, Pavel has pulled away. And look at this, Isis is coming now to try and engage Raging here. Trying to isolate Scout on Scout. Now this is going to give the Russian players a slight advantage of the better ping. Or is Raging Ishmael going to show how good a player he is. And he's going to take out his opposite number. I guess we're going to see as we go. Um, it's going up here. Again, some smoke pop. Just a lot of spotting going on. Pavel's on low hit points, 540, 543. Uh, on 1486. And the hype guys seem to be somewhat in control. We've got six, almost seven, just under seven minutes to go uh, in this game. And again, shots have been fired. At the moment, it seems the Challenger 1's down here. A really good hold down position. Able to use their good turret front armor. This Challenger 1 field. Sorry, I don't like that skin. It's horrible. Sorry, we're going to have to go back over here. Let's have a look. It's going to have VBL versus VBL. And look at this. Ishmael's coming across to back up his friend. And look at this. Savinsky's going across the middle as well. So again, Warrior and VBL versus two VBLs. Who is going to be the... Oh, sorry. Stingray 2. Sorry. Stingray 2 and VBL versus Warrior and VBL. Who is going to be the, the winner in this? Uh, the hype guys are definitely pulling back. Don't want to get caught out. Don't want to lose a vehicle this early on in the game. Six minutes to go. Um, and there we go. Hype. So we've lost a VBL. Wow. Zabino has been taken out. He got taken out over this hill. I would imagine possibly the VBL there. And look at this. Spacewalk is now going across here. Hype are on a distinct disadvantage now. Um, Zvinsky and Isis in the VBL are pushing this side. And you can see how inside and... Uh, raging are uh, slightly separated from the team. Shots going on. They've got shots across against the uh, the hype guys over here. Missiles are firing in and they're moving very, very well. The VBL here is using smoke and really covering the warrior. And again, VBL versus warrior. And they're going in. This is the fight that's going on. Auto cannon versus 80 GMs. 481 from Raging. Um, Savinsky's on 786. Uh, damage, and they take out the uh, family VBL. Good shots there. I think that was... I'm sure that was uh, Inside Tank that got the kill there. And now Savinsky is pulling back. Missiles firing across. And look, he's now got some backup. Five minutes to go. And Nameless is here in his T-80U. There's now T-80U and Warrior versus Stingray 2 and VBL. And at the moment... Uh, family have got distinct hit point advantage in this little engagement. Let's just go and take a look over here. You look, Pavel is on this hill as well. And look how aggressive um, the Challenger 1 here from Family has been. They want to finish this game off as quickly as they possibly can. And here we are. They're pushing, cresting over the ridge. He's on his own at the moment. He's got some support from Master Windy, but he's quite far away. He's not going to push over there. And look at this. Ish Raging Ishmael uh, is pulling back. Uh, and trying to get back here. Inside tank is pulling back as well. They're on low damage. And this is going to be the last stand. This is where the action is going to take place. It's a question of whether Raging Ishmael, Inside tank, can give enough protection from that side of the map. And whether these guys here can stop there. You can see uh, Abmata Project over on the hill. He's in a really good position. Able to shoot down over there. Uh, look at this. Uh, Pavel is coming to make this a three on two situation. Yes, this is where the action is. We've got inside tanks down to 805 hit points. Raging Ishmael, 339. They are isolated. Ishmael goes down. Lovely shot there. Good kill from one of the challenger ones. And it looks like family have got this pretty much sewn up. Well plated them. They've definitely come on stronger in the second half of this match. And now Nameless is going in against Inside Tank. Shot fired in. He's got the Warrior there. And there we go. 4-6. Family, absolutely great work there. Hype have done a fantastic job to try and defend this. But they, they just got caught out. They got into positions where they were um, had single tanks or low health tanks against multiple opponents. And that is just causing absolute havoc. Now, you've got two Sabras moving onto the hill here. These... Um, uh, they've got the Sabras of Hype and the Challenger 1s now. And look at 3-5. Two Sabras left. So one Challenger 1 left. And they're, they're caught in a crossfire here. It, it just needs um, uh, FR1 just to pull over this here. He's got a little bit of cover. 
but they're, they're taking so much damage and there's another tank down and a great crossfire and it's just massive left um, Sabra down to 12 hit points well done to family an absolutely fantastic game and they really pushed hype and took out a 3-1 lead a fantastic game really sorry that hype weren't able to do a little bit better there i think they just got in caught into positions um where it just didn't go their way and there we go we have a 3-1 lean lead rather for family uh, what an awesome awesome game well played uh good 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 sportsmanship from the hype guys there uh some nice games for us great games thanks oops can't type there great games uh, games guys okay so that is it it's a 3-1 lead for family that is an awesome awesome performance and that is it i think for the first game custom match disbanded let's get into the second game we have our our second game going forward hopefully 